Well, hello YouTube. It's me again. It's been a long time. I haven't made any tutorial. It's because I don't know what should I make. And now I'm gonna show you how to make different gravity direction and different angle view. Before we start, I'm gonna show you the result of the game. So here we go. See this round sphere? It is the player. And the Y O Yo, these words are gonna show you that the players are now in the right angle, in a correct angle. And here's the up arrow up, and here's the arrow down. So when the players collision with the arrow up, the view just change it to upside down, and so does the Y. I mean the Yo. And the player can also that you know jump it will change the gravity direct direction and views too okay so when the player collision with the down it changed right back to the correct view so now we start to program it I prepare four sprite the sprite players the wall and the arrow up and down I also have made the wall you know just Put the sprite, just put the sprite on and solid it. Okay, you're gonna make one more object, another object called parent. It's just gonna pair it into our player, so it will follow the same. It will follow the object. No setting on it. Okay, I just wanna go through the player setting stuff. Um, name it player. Use a sprite. Now in the step event, put in the gravity code, you know it, if place 3 x y plus 1, gravity equals 0 0.5, else gravity equals 0 and gravity direction equals 270 which point down, which means down. And another movement, I use my own lip to make it, I mean lip just like function. Okay, now in key press up, I want it up to jump in up, yeah, I'll put it, check object, check for object wall, y1, relative, relative, or relative, not quite sure, and check empty, y, negative 1, relative, Open bank grant and V speed, which means the height or how it, how the player can jump. I just put it negative nine and close bank grant. So we got our normal movement. Oh, one more thing: collision with the wall. V speed equals zero, which means vertical speed. Zero. Okay, now here's the normal function of the player. I'm gonna add a create event, and in a create event, put in this code. Put in um, view underscore a n g l e angle equals zero, which means the view is that. Like in the correct view, the usual view is zero. Okay, uh, tell you something. Zero is the usual view, and 90, 90 is left, 180 is point up, the upside down view, and 270 is right. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we're done with the player, and we just need to duplicate the player and name it player underscore view, which means when the player is um, upwards, we are gonna change it totally different, and the view angle gonna change it to 180. I told you before, like. Hundred and eighty is up, yeah. 
and the step event in gravity direction. In the gravity direction, 270 is point down, and we need the gravity direction to point up, and just need to minus 180, which means 90. Yeah. So the movement, we're gonna make it. The movement is quite special here. Now, if keyboard check vk underscore left, which means if keyboard press left, x plus equals 4. Yeah, plus. Because you are upside down, so you're gonna make it all the way different. Negative into positive, positive into negative. That's the trick. Yeah, right x minus 4 okay so done with the step uh, and up in the check object check for wall y1 we're going to change it to negative 1 totally opposite from it and the check empty the y is negative 1 we're just going to change it to 1 and the v speed the height of how the player can jump it's supposed to be negative, but just change it to positive. So, yeah, that's it for player up. Now, going on to the arrow. Make the object call, just call it up for the arrow up, the up arrow. And in the at event, in a collision event, collision again, player, if the if the up arrow collision with the player for the object player change instant into player u which means player up perform the event yes so on the arrow up we just need to duplicate it for the arrow down just name it down and change the sprite down and change the collision with player event change it to collision with player u and then for object player u change instant to object player just some kind of recycle and perform the event yes oh now and in the player the parent put in object parent which means this parent nothing special just name it parent uh, yeah and so does the object i mean the player u parent it as the object parent okay now in the room for the wheel i mean i just the width i set it to 1000 so you can just see what effects of the wheel and this is the most important thing you're gonna do and you're going to enable the use of view and visible when room starts. If you don't, the what the function will just, you know, totally ruin and follow the object parent. Hitchboard, I mean, horizontal, just put it 320, same as the river. Yeah. Now just to just need to decorate our level. Just drag it to here. Yeah. Just put some single blocks. Delete something. This block here, then here, and here, and put on the player. The player that face down, and put the up arrow and the down arrow at here so let's check it this the wheel one more time in enable the use of wheel and visible parent flow jet parent okay now ready to go mm. okay the players move left move right jump normal so I collide with it. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, just let me check it. 
in the up just property collision with player for player change down player U. Well then you something wrong with player U Great event view wait view angle hundred and eighty step no zero Oh yeah forget. Oh uh, here if place free X Y positive right then change it to negative. Oh man. And I change it to negative. Remember, else it won't work. Okay? So let's test it one more time. Play your left right jump. Okay, so collision with it. As it fall down. See you can also jump on it. See you are now totally, you know, upside down. You can jump it. When collision with the arrow, change right back into this. See, it also change the gravity. Yeah, so this is what I brought to you today. And hope you like it. Whoa, it's kind of long. Okay, now bye.